Pedro Almodovar's new film The Skin I Live In is somewhat familiar but it's also a radical departure from a lot of Mr. Almodovar's work. For one, there's a lot of horror or elements of horror in this film and we are accustomed to seeing suspense, melodrama, emotion and beauty and all of those things that are in The Skin I Live In but horror is one of the more significant variables that we see. There's also the Hitchcockian suspense that we are accustomed to and some other flourishes from the master of suspense. Mr. Almodovar uses them delightfully here and very playfully in a film that I think is wicked and twisted as well as quite humorous that has also got the tone of such films he's done in the past like Bad Education. I think this film is very close in tone to that film. It's very clinical, it's very gloomy and dark around many of its edges and it's also got a mix of that rich warmth and emotion that we see as well. Kind of faded, muted emotion in this film from Mr. Almodovar. He's reunited with Antonio Banderas, who he directed in the 1990 film, Time Me Up, Time Me Down. He's back here, Mr. Banderas, in a commanding performance. He's excellent here as Dr. Robert Ledyard, a plastic surgeon whose wife was killed in a car accident. She was burned beyond recognition, and now the doctor has a new skin that he's developing that will be impenetrable. And he experiments on a patient, and he also happens to have a woman holed up in his apartment house, a building, in fact, and he sees her every day, he keeps an eye on her every day. She's kind of a prisoner in the way that Sherilyn Fenn was in the film Boxing Helena years ago. Well, she doesn't have her limbs cut off here by any stretch of the imagination, but she is looked at on a daily basis by the doctor, the good doctor, wanting to make sure that she's just fine. She wears a bodysuit and she's there looking blankly at him. Uh, there's a lot going on between the two of them and Miss Anaya, who was so good in other films and also in the film Point Blank earlier this year, I think is terrific here. She was a wonderful performance of a woman who's really got a lot of different things going on, a woman who really holds the key to this whole film. Mr. Banderas is wonderful in this film as well, and we wonder what's going on in the doctor's mind. He's coming from a family that definitely isn't all there. And Marisa Paredes is also very effective in this film as well, by the way. Pedro Almodovar has got a mix of style that's very unmistakable and clear and it's very signature and unique as well. He is definitely one of the best directors in the world and is somebody that you really have to look at his whole body of work to admire how great he really is. But The Skin I Live In to me is rather underwhelming in its many respects and especially the way it comes together at the end. And while the ending is an ending that I think is satisfying, I was left somewhat underwhelmed in the whole total of this film. The Skin I Live In, La Piel Que Habito. See it for the excellent work by Antonio Banderas and Elena Ainaya. I'm Omar Moore for the Popcorn Reel.